and here is the actual silks uh, and uh, memorabilia is it needs to providence uh, 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 Graham well, we've got the letter from uh, Joe Mercer who was the jockey mm. uh, that uh, these were the colours were that were worn on the highlights of my career with winning the uh, Prix de Diane uh, which was at Chanty in 74 and he, he confirms that these were uh, given by uh, uh, Dick Hearn as a memento of uh, that amazing win in uh, Chanty. Yeah. And of course, she 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 won uh, the, the, the 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 St. Ledger mm -hmm. later, seventy uh, seven, when the Jubilee uh, with the uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 in uh, uh, amazing with the Dunfermline. Yeah, mm -hmm. but this was definitely high clear. It's uh, winning in uh, the French Oaks. It was, and I mean, you're a collector yourself, Angus, and you know how important provenance is, really. Yeah, and just to have that letter signed by Joe confirming that these were the actual silks that he wore on the day. Um, that piece of paper really is is worth a lot of money on its own, really. Well, of course, yeah. Just to, so if you're, you know, if you're bidding for something at this sort of level at auction, then you can be in incredibly comfortable what you're bidding for. Um, beautifully preserved condition, the famous purple and scarlet, black velvet cap, of course. Uh, made in New Market by Gilbert's, famous old saddlers up, up there. And um, of course, they've got the, they had also the Royal Warrant in the net label there as well. So, um, but just uh, really nice to have in a racing auction these royal mementos. It's called the Sport of Kings, as we know. Very, uh, very much. It's relied on the patronage of uh, royal family and let, let's be honest, and the Queen and the super rich over the years, isn't it really? You know, very um, much. and you know to, to survive and to thrive um, on the breeding side and everything. So, it's really good to have some royal memorabilia in the auctions. So Angus, when you're putting together an auction, curating an auction, sometimes some strange things happen. One of the earliest entries we got for the auction, this would have been, oh gosh, way back in late spring, early summer, uh, was this racing plate here that you can see on the board. And it was worn by Golden Miller when winning the 1934 Grand National, all put together in a beautiful frame, um, easel stand, a silver plaque all engraved with uh, the details. And then, many, many weeks later, um, I received this amazing painting to sell, and this is Golden Miller jumping the last in that Grand National in 1934 when he wore that shoe, and it's the most amazing quality oil painting. Um, it, it, it really is. And, uh, so, and sometimes these things just happen, you know, by, by chance. But, and, and to have it with also Golden Miller, um, well, go, well Gold, Golden Miller, yeah. five times winning the Gold Cup, but it only uh, won it with uh, one Grand National. And this is the year that uh, uh, we've got here. Yeah. Uh, after winning the Gold Cup, five times the Gold Cup, and one in the Grand National. And, and uh, to be quite honest, uh, that's, uh, that, that, that is amazing. Yeah, it is. It is absolutely, absolutely incredible. But still, the only horse to have won five Cheltenham Gold Cups and the only horse to have won a Cheltenham Gold Cup and a Grand National in the station. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic.